Hey guys, it's Ryan with a GoPro and a Volvo, and I have to cut a lawn today. So what's going on? Welcome back. If this is your first episode, thanks for watching. And today it is true, I am gonna go cut a customer's lawn today because that's what I do when I, when I need to, <laughs> you know what I mean? When it comes down to it, I will do whatever is needed for my business to be successful. And this particular customer is an excellent customer. He actually referred us to his son. Then we picked up his son's neighbor. His son moved and we cut his son's new house and we cut the house, the people's house that moved into his old house and we still cut that neighbor. So because of this one guy, we have four accounts and he wanted his lawn skipped last week because of the, the rain. Understandable, he has a really, really nice lawn. I'm sure this guy's a millionaire. About everybody that lives in that, that neighborhood is a millionaire and his house is probably five or $600,000. Um, but that, that's another reason why I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna cut your grass because I love cutting really, really nice grass. But, you know, I'm just, the point I'm trying to make is, are you willing to do the things that need to be done in your business for it to be successful? Because I was not planning on cutting this lawn today until about four o'clock yesterday. He, you know, called me, uh, he left me a voicemail, I called him back, ended up talking to him for 10 minutes because he knows I got a bunch of stuff going on and he just, you know, was interested in what I'm doing. But that's another thing, build rapport with your customers because that is something that will keep them with you over a couple dollars because you know the other companies are going to put out advertisements, they're gonna knock on doors, they're gonna do door hangers. Maybe they're doing the stuff that you're not willing to do and they're gonna at some point contact your customer one way or another, whether it's a postcard or whatever it is, they're gonna get in front of your customer and they're gonna offer them the same service that you're offering and what is gonna keep your customer from saying, no, I'm gonna stick with my guys instead of switching to the new company for a couple bucks. And you know, everyone's different. You gotta kind of feel out the customers. Like this particular customer I'm talking about today, um, he actually lived two doors down from my, my grandma before my grandma passed away. And I was like, um, you know, Yes, sir, we'd be more than happy to get you a quote. We'd actually been cutting the lady across the street from him for years, and I wanted to cut his lawn for so long, and he finally asked, so I went over, talked to him. He told me he was super impressed with my professionalism, blah, blah, blah. You know, he's asked me questions about the grass. I, I know a lot about grass, so he was very happy with my answers. He was very confident that we were gonna do a good job. The guy that had been doing it, I believe, picked up a drug habit and lost a lot of accounts in that neighborhood, in this neighborhood, and we actually picked those up. But, he, so we mow and spray, as you guys may know, that's all we do these days. So I was like, you know, sir, we also treat lawns. You have a beautiful lawn. I think our program would really, you know, keep it how it is or, or improve it. I mean, it's hard to improve this lawn. And he was like, you know what, Ryan, I really appreciate the offer, but I've been having the same guy treat my lawn for 15 years. So that's just my point. You know what I mean? He's, he's built a relationship with this dude. The guy's been treating his lawn for literally 15 years now. There's no way we're going to take that, that service from him. And I, I wouldn't want to, you know, that's, that's not, that's not how I view this business trying to take other people's customers. Like if another company messes up, that's when you can swoop in and, and pick up their customer. But I'm not in to stealing somebody's customer for, you know, we can do it a couple dollars less because we have our uh, our overhead burdens down, our hourly rate isn't as much as them. We can, you know, realistically make money on this account and do it for less and we're gonna steal these accounts. That's not what it's all about, guys. Like I said in some other vlogs, there's too much grass for you to cut or any one company to cut, so. We're all in this together. I really wish we could somehow network and swap accounts and stuff like that because you know that you're cutting a lawn and then the next door neighbor has a different company and the next door neighbor has a different company. 
and it's like it would just be so much better for the environment for one the companies would profit so much more because one company would be cutting three lawns instead of just one lawn you know i don't know i'm trying to wrap my head around how that could possibly happen but i hope you got some value out of the vlog today it's ryan with lawn crack I'm on the way to shoot a podcast with Ethan. I'm about to pull up to his house. I'm out and about pretty early this morning. Uh, the podcast is available on iTunes, Google Play Music, and Stitcher. It's called Lawn Care Business Academy. It'd be awesome if you'd check that out. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Keep making money.